that you might want to consider looking at? Uh, when are we going to know which group are we going to be in? So we are still at the back end because I think some of you are still trying to get some members to participate. So on the 2nd of October, um, you will see uh, by the end of the 2nd of October, you will see the teams you um, have been assigned to. Uh, that's a good question. So I also want to clarify because this is a competition. We just want to make sure that it's fair. So if you have friends that are still not signed up and they are meant to be on your team, please get them to do so by the 2nd of October so that we can close the team's, regi like the team's registration by the 2nd. That's not to say if you have individuals who are signing up after the 2nd, they cannot participate, they can. But we just want to make sure that um, there's no dispute at the end of the competition by, you know, how come uh, we, we have one team member that got added in, in the mid of the month and therefore we should factor that in. So everyone should have their teams participating as a team on the 2nd of October and then we'll start tracking that as a team. So after the end of day, 2nd of October, anyone who joins in and if you have friends and family who wishes to join in, that's fine, but they will just participate as individuals. So they'll have the same thing, uh, same access, et cetera. It's just that they would not be participating as a team and qualifying for the eventual prizes. Yeah. Um, Pei's question, I think, yes. So we will log in the exercise minutes and not linking any exercise device to the website, correct? There is no tracking app. I think um, Romeo and Cecilia was asking, there's no tracking app. You just need a phone or a clock or watch to see if I started at 8 p.m. and I finished at 8.15, that's 15 minutes. So that's how you will log it in. Um, Teresa, do we need to work out together with team members? No, you do not have to. But obviously, if your team, for example, want to organize um, you know, Zoom or any virtual team exercises together on the same day so that you encourage other team members as well, feel free to do so. But other than that, you can clock in your minutes separately. Um, it will all be reflected under your team's minutes. Um, in fact, SNSA uh, will be organizing um, some activities in the month of October in line with this theme, just so that if you join and participate with your members, the, the whole session, you can clock that as, a, as, as part of that entry uh, for that day. Um, I think one of you um, have asked where, that you have signed up but did not receive any email. Um, let us check. Uh, Mabel, could you take note of that so that we can check that on the back end there is? Okay. Yeah, maybe separately also message um, this person for the contact details so that we can reach out in the event we do not have records of it. Uh, Jonathan asked, can we do stationary walking or running? You can, you can really. Like, I think we need to be as creative as we can be, especially if we are trying to all, you know, stay at home. Um, and the government has actually issued a, a statement today to encourage the elderly people to stay at home. So yes, we can. Okay, so I think I've addressed everything in this chat. Okay, from the group now, Any, anyone from the group? That's a question. If I do not want to join you uh, to be in a team, I just be individual. Can I reject, for example, you put me in a team, I say, no, I prefer to go on my own. Is it possible to do that? Sure, Michelle, is it? Yeah, yeah, Michelle, yeah. That, that, <laughs> we'll take question. note. We will take note. On our oh, back. you have to. Uh, we have, do I have to tell you and tell that as an I say, I don't want to participate, even though you give me a, a team card. How do I do it? Are you, so we'll we'll note that now actually and on our system. Oh no, I'm just asking. Oh, you, you uh, so you can <laughs> sorry you can uh, again. You I think there's a WhatsApp chat. If not, you can email contact at mm. snsa.org.sg and let us know that you do not wish to be part of a team. Yeah. Mm. Michael here. Yeah, Michael. Yes. Uh, we guys have a T-shirt. Okay, will be Korea or I don't know. We pick up from our. So uh, some of you would be, if you have registered as a team and have opted for us to send the team's t-shirts to a location, 
that will be via courier. Otherwise, if it's individual packs, uh, we will just mail that to your mailbox. Yeah. So please do not uh, show up at our Brattle house to collect the t-shirts. We are really trying to minimize uh, <laughs> people coming to our office. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Uh, any other questions about the tracker? I, th I think it's pretty easy to use. I've tested it um, today, uh, well, one day, but um, to me, I think it's fairly straightforward. You can do it on your phone and you can do it on really um, your, your computer, your iPad. As long as you have internet, it's a browser, it's not an app that you need to download. So basically, uh, unlike last year, I mean, you don't have to take any photo, a snapshot. <laughs> you have to take some photo shots. I mean, but it's a thing in the future, so that you don't have to get for so I, uh, I'm not sure of last year, was that uh, just to create the social awareness? I think we'll still encourage you, you know, if you can, to participate and to post on your... If you do choose to take pictures and post on your social media, obviously, uh, if you could hashtag 2021SOFS, that would be great. Um, there is no requirement for you to take a snapshot of your clock <laughs> to check <laughs> the minutes. I think we... Uh, we have discussed internally and we really just trust that. I mean, I think it's for a good cause. And uh, yeah, we really just rely on you to just clock the minutes. Obviously, like I mentioned, if there are some data that seems a bit uh, atrocious, we might reach out to you. But uh, yeah, this, this whole thing is based on trust. And yeah, we just want everyone to really have fun and participate and get to know more about, yeah, you know, through this event, hopefully there'll be more awareness about SNSA and the stroke community. Mm. Okay, there are some questions in the chat, so I'm gonna... Okay, so I think Mabel say everyone can take photos in your t-shirts and caption. There's a competition, I believe, that's on our social media website. So this is the main thing. Then I think there are some events that uh, Mabel and team has really worked very hard to put together, like trying to make it more fun is I think there might be a best photo uh, uh, winner or something, right, Mabel? Yeah, it's a like most creative photo. La. Yeah, you mm. can post <laughs> in your most creative. <laughs> yeah, you can get your <laughs> team member to post with you for a photo. Mm. Yeah, they will give yeah, out and, yeah. prizes as well. Yeah, vouchers. Mm. Mm, start to walk in uh, Leila asking, okay, Leila, we will only, you can only log in after uh, October 2. The actual race starts on October 2. Mm. So on October, I think on October 2 is the, is the answer. It's not after. After, so, after the yeah. launching. After launching. Yeah. Mm. So right now, actually, when all of you log in to this page, right, you will be able to log in. It's just mm. that the minutes where we look at the history, right, of the individual, we will only take in the minutes that starts on the 2nd of October. So again, like I said, I think to keep it clean, uh, it's best to, um, because if I, the system administrator, uh, we, will, we will just go in and delete anything that happens before the 2nd of October. So that this total minutes here that's being calculated would actually reflect, you know, the, the effective minutes that you need to, that will add towards the, the end result. What is the website on this link? Uh, this website is SOS. Hang on, uh. So I think, uh, Mabel, if you could type yeah, in the chat. Now. Yeah. I think so got one person asking, Kelvin asking, whether is this open to only people in Singapore? Uh, actually, that's a good question. We have never really asked. I think no, right? I think we can open it to uh, in people outside of Singapore. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's is Sham on this call? No, she no no she's B. Oh okay. <laughs> Deidre or Pocho? Pocho lo, Pocho here, I think. Pocho. Pocho. Yeah. Um I think so far uh it's always been uh for in Singapore. We haven't right. done overseas. So so in case you know there's any uh 
uh, questions like, oh, I, I, I sign in from Australia, do I get a price? I, I, I don't know how you want to restrict that. Okay. So I think, Kelvin, um, are you thinking of forming a team with someone in Jakarta? I think, I think you can. So I think really to answer that question, as long as everyone signs up by the 2nd of October, right, they can qualify um, for this team challenge. I think I'm going to say it out so that there are 66 participants on this call. If you have any objections, you can say no. Because again, because we are not really doing a face-to-face -face meeting, I think the location of the participant actually does not matter. It's not like if I'm in Jakarta, I can clock two times more than you. I mean, you, you know what I mean. I, I don't know. If anyone has any objections on this call, please, please feel free to voice. But if not, I would say yes. So, Kelvin, if your friend is going to join your team, yeah, but we will not mail t-shirts overseas. That's correct. <laughs> and, and, and just to put it out, if you have friends and family who are still trying to sign up now, uh, we have almost reached the capacity of our t-shirts. So, it's while well stocks last at this stage. Okay, yeah. So, no overseas t-shirts. Um, everything else will be the same. Emails um, and phone numbers, we can just WhatsApp them on the chat. Yeah. Cool. Um, I see more, less people now, which means I think most people have gotten the answers they need. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no, so Angie, unfortunately, no, because I think we actually debated should every team be the same size. Um, so I think five to 10 is what we have restricted. To be honest, we don't know whether is there even a fair gauge. But I think if you have less than five, you can still form a team. But we just want to be very clear that it, we do not want the argument or dispute that you only have four members in your team and therefore you've only managed to clock, say, 400 minutes at the end of the competition versus someone who has seven people and they've clocked a thousand. So that's what we are trying to, um, we're trying to avoid. And I have been part of a similar competition where the number of people in the team does not necessarily mean that they will definitely win. Yeah, okay, sure. If you're not after the prize, <laughs> perfect. I think, yeah. So if you, you want to be as a team, uh, just again, send an email to contact at snsa.org.sg and let us know that you are happy for your team to be less than five people then we will, we will make sure that these four people or three are put together in the same name. Okay, so the crowd is, okay. I think, um, any other questions? So I'm sure when you try to log in, just remember if you see the message about your t-shirt sizes, please, please do uh, confirm again. And we really apologize for that glitch. Um, it's been fixed and we assure you this will not happen again, at least the t-shirt part. Um, and thank you for your patience with us. So once you log in, uh, the thing is just to check that your team is correct. And if you have any issues, uh, the contact number is, is there a contact number, Mabel? Okay, I'm, if you uh, could I put it in like the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then the email is contact at snsa.sg. So at the end of the day, for those of you who have not been assigned to a team and we allocate you on the back end, you will receive an email with your team members in it. So you, you will need to please make sure that contact at snsa.org.sg is added to your email recipients list, right? So once we form a team and everything has been finalized, uh, by the 2nd of October, you will receive an email from us saying, this is your team, this is the name. And if you have any questions or issues with that, it will be a random pick when, we, to be honest, we don't know half the people who have signed up. Um, just let us know if you wish to opt out of that, okay? Great, so our launch is on the 2nd of October, this Saturday at 10 a.m., I think. Uh, Mabel has sent out an email already. Uh, Minister 
uh, Senior Minister for Transport, uh, Mr. Chi Hong Tat, will be gracing the event uh, on the webinar. So please do join us. Um, we would love for us to at least.